Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today is the day 5 for our FortiGate firewall training series. In this video, I will be talking about how we can set up lab into EVNG. So in this video, I am going to cover how we can download the proper image which will be compatible with EVNG, how we can import that image and how we can correctly uh, name the image so that it will be visible into EVNG, how we can create lab into EVNG and how we can access the GUI. So with the help of this information, you can build your own lab and uh, like during the series, whatever uh, practical I'll show, you can emulate that practical into your EVNG lab and you can learn the technology. You can practice it. And so I'll request you to please watch this video till then so that you can understand this as well as I'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a bit of from me. So without any further delay, let's get started. So friends, first of all, we'll download the image and uh, for that, I'll just open the browser and, and we'll navigate to that uh, URL. So support.fortinet.com. Okay, this is the website that you need to go and you should have a uh, login. You need to get registered and login. Okay. And you have to go to firmware download and then uh, you can choose the product so we are we want to download FortiGate uh, image you have to go to download and we want to download 7.0 here if we have like 7.1 or 7.2 you'll find it and in this if you have like uh, minor releases you'll get this uh, this over there but we don't have anything right now and for which image you need to download to find out uh, we'll go to eve ng website eve ng fort event right so this is the first website that we need to go and it will tell you which image that you download so you just select this one and search over here okay so this is for ibm not this one yeah we need to download this image okay so we'll just click on https okay so once you click it okay it will ask you to save this so we'll save this one the image size is not too much okay and it needs one gb of ram that's all one and one cpu virtual cpu that's all so we are downloading right now so i'll pause this video uh, till this uh, image downloads so friends uh, we are done with the download now if you go uh, for the instructions it is uh, you have to go through CLI and you have to do a lot of things. I'll show you very simplest way to import this image to EVNG. So let me go to our workstation first and turn on our EVNG device like the machine, the VM machine. Okay. So we'll open it and our EVNG machine and power it on. So once it's power on, uh, we'll open Venice CP as well because we need to transfer the file so we need to wait for to get the IP address from the VM machine so we have got it uh, 192 168 which is 192 168 202 135 right root and if ng if sorry okay so you have to go to opt unit lab then you have to go to add-ons chemo and here you have to create a folder now what is what would be the name of the folder we can find it over here okay so we have to go to the documentation and you have to go to chemo image naming so go for 40 net okay so the name should be like this okay so we'll go 
to the Venus CP and will create a folder directory and we name, will be naming like this you know, 7.0 so after this hyphen you can write anything okay but the name until hyphen the name should be like this otherwise it will not be visible okay so after that we have to paste the image over here so before pasting the image what we gonna do is uh, we'll go and take this image we'll just cut this out and paste it to the desktop okay so we have pasted this image and we'll try to extract the file okay yeah, okay so once we extract the file we'll get the original file which we need to import it now we just need to change the name okay so what should be the name the name should be like this so just copy this one and rename it okay so now you have to just rename this one okay paste it done and we need to copy this to this folder right so we'll just drag and drop so now we are done with the importing the image into the evng okay now what we have to do is we'll just navigate to the ip address 20135 right so this is our evng yeah okay we are at the old lab we'll just close this lab out and we'll create a new lab which is named as 40 net save it okay and then open it now we'll just do a right click you'll get to notes and you'll get an option for 40 gate firewalls right as this is we have only one image it requires uh, one gb ram one cpu you don't need to change anything right now okay save it okay and then you can do one more thing to access it as we will be accessing from our pc just put as the management zero and configure it as port one I guess it doesn't have any management port right now yeah we don't have any management so so and we'll try to open the console of the device uh, it will start very quickly because it needs only 1 GB of RAM so and uh, the size of the image is also very less it is only 72 MB now here the username password will be admin and there will be no password but it will ask you to change the password so you just put any password okay yeah so we are into the device now as the port one will be by default it will be uh, configured as dscp so what we're gonna do is uh, maybe if you have already dscp enabled as we have already dscp enabled over here so we'll be able to access it but uh, as of now i just wanted to assign a static ip address so what i can do is configure system interface okay edit port number one okay and we'll be setting the set mode static and set ip 192.168 202.150 and we'll put the sun mask okay and we'll end it now this will be accessible through this ip address and one more thing we gonna do is edit port number one and you just see what are the access that is allowed so ping is allowed, HTTPS is allowed, SSH is allowed and the management. This is for management, okay? Uh, 40 manager. So we'll go to CMD and we'll try to ping 192.168.202.150 and we are getting the ping. So we'll try to access the IP address which is 192.168.202.150 
202.150 okay so friend in case of if https is not working in that case what you cannot do is you go here and you allow http because sometime uh, http uh, will not work so what we gonna do is we'll just allow ping http okay, so. and then we'll allow all other protocols okay and we'll end it and we'll try to access now yes we are able to access now so once you uh, log into the device as you can see uh, you will get 15 day license so the licenses what you can see over here it is only uh, it will show you that uh, it is uh, 15 days license so i was yeah the evaluation license is still so today we are 16 and the license is valid till 20 so let's say if this license is expired in that case what you can do is you can just delete the device and add a new device so the license from that day itself 15 days next 15 days the license will be valid again okay so this is how you can access it and so friends uh, this is what i wanted to show in this video and in upcoming videos I'm, i'll be covering a lot of more things about 40 gate firewall and also the course outline what i was uh, talking about i'll be uploading uh, to google drive as well as the community tab so look for that update uh, it will be soon as soon as possible and also uh, i'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss an, uh, any update from me so thank you so much for watching and, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.